Hi one, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, the political party dispute tribunal uh, court made a ruling, and in that ruling, they favored the Sabina Cheke and Kanini Keka fraction. The other thing that was surprising was that this Kanini Keka team got the court ruling one day earlier before the judges would come and uh, render the judgment. So the other fraction were wondering why would an individual know a ruling prior to the very day of reading? Then it tells you that there was some influence from elsewhere where we can conclude and say that maybe even these judges were given a written document just to read. Simple as that. Because how would it just leak like that? It was leaked. In one of the WhatsApp groups, then later they deleted quickly. Some individuals had already the information. But then, if you check the manner in which Jeremiah Kioni, not Jeremiah Kioni, Kanini Kega, Sabina Chege and the team are moving with the speed to recapture the Jubilee part, it tells you that we can see the target they were looking for. These individuals have only one focus. Their main agenda is all about money. We know Ruto has his agenda and target, which can turn out to be a blessing in disguise for Gashangwa, if Ruto does not know. If you will wrestle this Jubilee party from Uhuru Kenyatta and have it, with time, that party will go to Gashangwa. And Gashangwa might use it as a tool to deal a blow with William Ruto. He has been studying Ruto when he was working with Uhuru, the URP, the problem with Jubilee, and now UDA. Ashagwa is a student, he's learning careful. But then, to a main agenda, what did the Kanini Kega fraction do after the ruling favored them? Imagine they never wasted a single second. This confirms why they are focused, where their focus is belonging. They quickly went to the issue of replacement of signatories. Yani we were ruling today, and the following day they were heading to the bank direct to change signatures and withdraw the money in a Jubilee account. That was the end. And to confirm this, there is a note here that has been eh, shared, we can see. We have the logo there of the office of the Register of Political Party. They have addressed him. And they are also addressing uh, the bank there. Assistant Manager, Legal Service, Equity Bank, Kenya Limited. PO Box is there, Nairobi. Dear sir, reason we authorize bank signatures for Jubilee Party number 0027. Signature is quickly without wasting time. Reference is made to your letter dated 11 July 2023 on the above subject matter. According to the record held by this office, Jubilee Party is a fully registered political party under certificate number 0027 in accordance with Jubilee Party. Constitution and the ruling in a political party dispute tribunal PPDT appealed number three of the 2023. Uh, here, here under is listed of the four party authorized bank signatures. Number one, Nelson Zuya, national chairperson. Number two, Kanini Kega. Acting Secretary General. Number three, Rachel Nyamai, Acting National Treasurer. Number four, uh, Ms. Wambui Gituru, Executive Director. You are faithful, Anne Deritu, Register Political Party, Acting Secretary General Jubilee Party. It has been ceased to him. So, the Register Political Party is the one aiding this all. To ensure that indeed Jubilee has been robbed, right, left, center, and finished completely. So, in the same day they are making the ruling, already 
the Resort Political Party is helping Karimi Kenga to change the signature, signature list quickly at the same time. One question we ask ourselves to understand who are greedy people here and what they are focusing on. If you check on all of these people, they are all in acting capacity. Apart from two individuals, number one, the national, uh, the, the national chairperson, Nelson Zoya. Why is it that the whole fraction was not even in a hurry to change the signature of the national chairperson? They were not in a hurry. Another person is executive director. Why is it that the Uhuru fraction were not in a hurry to change the signature of the executive director, Ms. Wambui Gichuri? Because these two were not with them. So it tells you they were not even in a hurry of the issue of, you know, taking money from the bank. What belongs to the party should be for the party. They are not in a hurry. They want to follow the process. Bila Kwarakishu. These individuals, like Kanini Kega, in acting capacity as SG, Rachel Nyamai, in acting capacity as a treasurer, they are quickly replacing people to put their, their own individual to make sure that they are getting the money. Their focus is all about money, nothing else. So if you see Kanini Kega in a hurry of Tupling Uhuru Kenyatta from the Jubilee leadership is all about money. You see Sabina Chek. Hey, now I said, I can place Uhuru. Now they call for another NDC. That means they want to do election. Pakanaya, part leader. That is the time they want to out Uhuru Kenyatta and place him with another person. If it were not for the court order, that was issued eh? stopping Kanini Kega fraction from taking over the party. The money would have been withdrawn and it will be another story as we're speaking now. Now the case will continue for close to another 30 days. So there is a court order that has banned these people from taking over office and it has allowed Jeremiah Kioni, David Murad, and the team to continue leading the party up to now. So you see, everyone has their focus. The team is all about money. They don't care. William Ruto is all about silencing Uhuru Kenyatta from active politics. The Shagwa is all about grabbing the Jubilee Party and using it as a tool in the next election. So, wale wabunge wengi na kwa jubilee wametoka eh, from Mount Kenya region. Alafu kuna wengine moja moja hapo. So, his focus is, hii chama ikuja hapa, ikuwa coalition, then I can move my, 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 my constituency, that's Mount Kenya, to jubilee party and use it in the next election. Uhuru, eh, Ruto, nitoe uhuru kwa siyasa, ananesubua, nibaki na watu wengine. Jeremiah, eh, Kanini Kega and the team, their focus is money. We need this money. This is political party funds. And the individuals want to carry the money home. As simple as that. So it's only the court that has slapped them on their face with the reality. They have been stopped. The case will continue. We will wait to see how the ruling will come. But indeed it has been confirmed that William Ruto is now in control of judiciary. They no longer make an independent decision. If there was a making of independent decision, the same way Moses Masika Wetangola was handed back the Ford Kenya Party by the Political Party Dispute Tribunal Court. It would have been the same way Uhuru Kenyatta and the team, Jeremiah Kion, would have been handed over their Jubilee Party fully in that ruling. But because the other ruling that has been influenced from elsewhere has come to pass, it tells you how our court has been infiltrated by outsiders to come and influence the ruling. 
We can no longer trust these people. We can't trust them. We thought the ruling will go the Wetangula way. We know there was a fraction of the other team, Omunyini, who wanted to grab the party. But through the court, he was handed back the party. As speaking now, Ford Kenya is well and good under the leadership of Wetangula. But Jubilee Party, the imperative ruling, now we are here. So, through all this drama, Kenya want to be reduced to a one single party state, even if it will not be directly. It means now Ruto will be controlling everything from state house. Another time, Amoja, Atakuda Payengine, and soon will be coming for other bigger parties. Atakuda here, why? But under Kusubu and I don't know what to go What else? What do you learn from that? So that is the reality on the ground. 